to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Byron Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. I think that's time we we're heading home, everyone. Pack up your things. Oh, um, you forgot your book, sweetheart. And Byron, Byron Wordsworth, here to make some magic and lots of stories. Jackson, Jackson, it's in here. Oh, yes. It doesn't look very wobbly. Maybe if I wobble it a bit. Oh, no, no, be careful. Hi, Jax. Oh, well, Byron. Well, Jack. Byron. <laughs> What's up? Oh, well, Byron, there was this girl in the library today. Yeah, her and name was Billy. Yes, Billy, yeah. yes. And, and she had a wobbly tooth. Yeah, yeah, and she it kept, was in her mouth. In her mouth, yeah. And she kept wibbling it and wobbling it yeah, and wibbling yeah. it and I wobbling it. Yes, it, it, it. Oh, and what? It's, oh, Byron, it fell out. Yes, yes. <laughs> It fell out, and here it is. Oh, don't worry about that, partners. That's supposed to happen. Is it? When you're little, it is. You see, your little baby teeth, well, they fall out to make room for the big grown-up teeth to come through. Like yours. That's right, Mr. Pink. Like mine. Wow! <laughs> and, and do they stay in your mouth for always? If you look after them properly. Oh. Here, I always carry this about my person, just in case. Ooh, a toothbrush! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, Byron, um, can we use your toothbrush to put in the story machine? <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> I need this to look after my teeth. <laughs> Oh, but don't fret, my green queen. Abracazoot! <laughs> we can use this one, if you like. <laughs> That's clever! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go! Hmm. Now, can we have a teeny, teethy, toothbrushy story, please? Uh, now, this me machine needs a bit of a boost to get it to work. Yeah. Would you mind helping us out? Mm -hmm. Imagine! Imagine! Imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a playbook, and it's called Cameron Cameron. Mum and I have teeth to brush. We know exactly what to do. Grab the toothbrush and the toothpaste too. Mmm, tastes nice. Mum's turn to paste the brush. Close the cap. That's best. Don't want to make a mess. Uh-oh, brother Cameron's in a rush. Oh, Cameron, Cameron, look at you. Tap on now. Get the bristles wet. My brush is not wet enough yet. That's better. Better brushing, now it's wetter. But Cameron, what does Cameron do? Oh, Cameron, Cameron, look at you. Cameron, Cameron, that's not the way. 
Oh, Cameron, Cameron, you're not here to play. Ignore him, Mum. That's right, let's keep brushing. But Cameron, Cameron doesn't care. He keeps on mushing the toothpaste in the sink. He needs to be taught to brush properly, I think. Final rinse. Now I'm done. But Cameron's still a mucky one. At least he's starting to do things right. Otherwise, his brushing will go on all night. That's it, Cameron. Brush, brush, brush. At last, my brother's not in a rush. Bring out the flannel. Clean him quickly, Mum, or Cam will disappear off. I'm looking great. Let's look at guess who. Ah, Cameron, Cameron, look at you. Cameron did clean his teeth in the end, didn't yes. he? Yes. <laughs> I wonder if he'll get nice shiny teeth like Byron. Yeah. Mm. Um, Jackson, mm. do you think I'll get green teeth if I use this green toothbrush? Oh, no, no, Jelly, you mustn't put that in your mouth. That's a oh. painting toothbrush. Oh, oh dear. Oh, OK, well, can we paint with it then? Oh, yes, mm. that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Uh, shall I have that? No, no, no you get one of them. Uh, it's this mine. One. Mm. I'm getting some green teeth. Paint. <laughs> <laughs> Up and down. Yeah. I love painting with the toothbrush. So do I. Up and down, up and down. Oh, that bit, round uh, and round. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. <laughs> Finished. Yeah. It, it looks like a snake. No, no, no. It's a crocodile. <laughs> oh, um, Oh, yes, a crocodile. Uh, and I was thinking, maybe we could put it uh, in the into story, the story machine. machine. Yeah. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Are you ready to help us make a story? Yeah. Join in with the magic words. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, Imagine the story. A story. It's a blue cow story! <gasps> and it's called Blue Cow and the Crocodile. Ah. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was thinking about her teeth. I wonder what kind of teeth other animals have. She's off again, said the other cows. So, Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can see other animals' teeth, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the jungle. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. She was in a jungle. In front of her, there was a pool of water with logs floating on it. Next to the water was a huge set of pointy white teeth. Moo! Teeth! I wonder what animal would have teeth like these, said Blue Cow. They're enormous. Maybe they belong to an elephant. Mm, no, I don't think so. Maybe a smaller animal, a monkey. Oh, uh, no, too small. Maybe a giraffe. Oh, no, that would look silly. But not as silly as I would. <laughs> Whose could they be? Let me think. They're long, pointy, and there are lots and lots of them. Oh, of course! They must belong to a crocodile. Hello, she shouted. Are there any crocodiles here? Suddenly, all the logs moved. They weren't logs at all. 
They were crocodiles. Hello. Hello. Hi. Greetings. Oh, hello. I'm Blue Cow. Has somebody lost their teeth? Not me. Not me. Me neither. Yes, I have, said one of the crocodiles. I'm Stuart. Here you are, Stuart, she said, giving him his teeth. He popped them back in and gave Blue Cow a big, toothy smile. Ah, uh, it's Stuart, actually. It's very difficult to say without my teeth in. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, said Blue Cow. Oh, you'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to the jungle and I found some teeth belonging to a crocodile. Everyone knows crocodiles don't take their teeth out. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, that was funny. I liked it when Blue Cow had those funny teeth. <laughs> Byron, why did the crocodile have teeth that came out? Uh, did yeah. he have wibbly-wobbly teeth as well? Oh, sharp question, Jax. <laughs> sharp. You see, when you're older, or if you don't look after your teeth properly, well, your teeth can fall out. Oh, and, and do they grow back again? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> then you have to have false teeth. Oh, <gasps> false teeth? Yep. Abra Kazoot! Oh, wow. False teeth. Hey, give us a grin. <laughs> oh, they're funny. Bite, 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 bite. Watch out, Jenny, it might bite you. Bite monster. Bite a monster, bite a monster. Oh, they've stopped. <laughs> That's good, because I've got something else to show you. Oh. What is it? A game. Abra Kazoot! <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to do? Well, look at the magic cards very carefully yeah. and see if you can see what it is that the biter monster is eating. Okay. okay. Mm. See if you can guess too. <laughs> what do you think this is? Um, is it a frog? Oh, good try, Gels. Right colour. Oh, I think it's a green sack. Hmm. <laughs> um. It's, oh, an, it's an apple. apple. <laughs> ah, quantum. <laughs> and very good for your teeth. So how about this then? I know, it's a stick. Oh, are those crumbs? Oh, that looks like a pillow. Oh, I know, yum. It's egg on toast. <laughs> and my favourite. Mm, me too. Mm. <laughs> now, last card. It's something very green. Oh, is it a speedboat? <laughs> no, Jackson. Oh, we give up, Byron. Yeah. What is it? It's mm. celery. Oh. Mm. Delicious. Oh, I've never tried celery. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about time you did. <laughs> Abracazoot! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Jackson. Yeah. Yes. Can oh, of course you can. Oh, yes, it's nice, Byron. <laughs> Story by Ren. Oh, but I wanted to eat mine. No, do I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so what can we put in the story machine? Oh. I feel the tingle of a story coming on. Ah, the oh. biter monster. Yeah, that should make a great story. That's right. <laughs> now, think hard and try to help us imagine a story with a little bit of bite in it. Imagine. Imagine, imagine the story. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, it's a Barnacle Rock story. <laughs> and it's called A Gnashing Adventure. Walk the planet, Ellie, say hi. Hi. Little Ian Harry, say ho. With your panel and the they go on a search for treasure. Once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, literally the seahorse baby was playing hide and seek with the barnacles. Chime for barnacles. Oh, you can hide. 
be careful. Don't get lost in there, Little Lee. Harry the seahorse looked rather flustered. Don't worry, Dad. I'm fine. I am a monster. She bolted out of the seaweed and jumped straight into Harry's pouch. Is everyone all right? Ellie the jellyfish floated by to find out what all the noise was about. There's a monster in the seaweed with big teeth, trembled the seahorse baby. Oh, there's no such thing as monsters. I'm going to take a closer look. Isn't she brave? Chimed the barnacles. Ellie floated down into the seaweed. Suddenly, in front of her, she saw the toothy monster. She screamed and rushed out of the seaweed. What's all the kerfuffle? Said Gruff the pufferfish, who swam out from behind his slimy stone and headed straight into the seaweed to have a good look at the toothy monster. Suddenly, there was a real kerfuffle in the seaweed. Oh, get off! Cried Gruff. He swam out with the toothy monster clenched firmly to his fin. Help! Growled Gruff. It's got me! With a loud guffaw, Papa Clown appeared from under the sand. Steady, Gruff! Steady! He <laughs> it's only a set of false teeth! <laughs> false teeth? What are false teeth? The people up top wear them. When their real teeth get worn out. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gruff was thrashing about, trying to get the teeth off his fin. Electra sparked by to see what was going on. We just need to make the teeth open, said Popper Clam. I know. I'll tell the teeth one of my shark jokes, Ellie beamed. It's worth a try, said Harry. I say, I say, I say, what did the shark say to the puffer fish? We don't know. What did the shark say to the puffer fish? <laughs> the sea creatures giggled. Pleased to eat you. Ellie oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, Ellie, that was terrible. <laughs> Gruff grumbled. Nothing happened for a moment, but then the teeth started to chuckle. Quietly at first, and then louder and louder until it's they opened and let out a huge laugh, letting go of Gruff's fin. Well, Hooray! Done, Ellie. We did it! Well, done. Shouted the sea creatures. Oh, thanks, Ellie, said Gruff. I need to put a plaster on my sore fin. And he swam off to his slimy stone as fast as he could. Looks like he got off by the skin of his teeth. Oh, 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 Byron, the biter monster caught grass. <laughs> and he didn't look too pleased about yeah. it, did he? <laughs> Byron, look, it's getting light. Yeah. It's time all story makers were hidden away. Yeah. We'd better skedaddle. Yeah, the children will be here soon. Mm. Dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come back story soon. makers, stories Bye. are fabulous, stories Thanks are fun. Thanks for helping. Bye. See you later, story maker. <laughs>